Haha, I guess Jax is making more Koopalings. <laughs> That's right, friends. Today we get to take a look at uh, another one of the Koopalings. It's Lemmy, and first I reviewed Iggy, and now Jax has Lemmy out. And I don't think they're going in any particular order, because that is not the order you fight them in the game. But anyways, packaging is pretty standard Super Mario packaging. On the back we got pictured figure and other figures in the wave. is like Open Hand Mario, Black Yoshi, Fire Luigi, Shy Guy, and Lemmy himself. Anyways, nothing we haven't seen with the packaging before, except the fact that I think I finally know the best way to open these guys, which is just shove your thumb in this open spot back here and... Wah! See? It tore a lot less. I mean, it like tears up here, but like, I think if you start up here, it'd take the cardboard more. Anyways, let's pop Lemmy on out. No twist ties or anything. Just push him. And he's free. It's as simple as that. And here's Lemmy out of the package, friends, also known as Hip Koopa and named after Lemmy Kilmister from the band Motorhead. In terms of the sculpt, there is nothing inaccurate about it. This is pretty much how Lemmy has looked since New Super Mario Bros. Wii, and there's not too much to say about that. I mean, I've never really noticed Lemmy had, like, a ponytail, but he does! You just don't really notice that when you're, you know, focused on fighting him in the games there. Everything that should be sculpted is here. I mean, his eyes seem like they're separate pieces, and they're, like, you know, glued in that head socket thing there. He's got little armbands with little spiky sculpted and little lines on the belly. Everything very, very accurate in terms of sculpt. If we start talking about the paint, also very accurate. I mean, the color of Lemmy's mohawk has, like, changed in, you know, Super Mario Bros. 3 and Super Mario World. But since New Super Mario Bros. Wii, it's been consistently yellow, red, then blue, yellow, red, then blue, and then a yellow ponytail thing in the back there. And it's a really cool little fade job they've done. Which is, you know, pretty impressive at this price point that Jax has uh, done that there. Anyways, also since New Super Mario Bros. Wii, he's always had an orange shell with yellow rings. That is accurate. Very, very good there. Negative things about the paint, though. I wish they could have found a different spot for that. Like, why not just, like, throw it on the bottom of the feet with all this, you know, copyright mumbo-jumbo stuff. But, I mean, whatever. I guess a little nail polish remover, paint thinner, whatever. We'll take care of that. Also, the paint on the little claws here is pretty sloppy. But, I mean, what do you... What do you expect at this scale and price point? It's it's pretty decent for what it is. And the last Nick pick of the paint, though, Lemmy's eyes. Oftentimes he has, like, googly eyes in official artwork. I don't think they're quite like that in the game too often. But, like, it, I think it would have looked a lot more funny with, like, one pupil, like, a little lower, one pupil a little higher. But, I mean, the pupils are just decals, and they are pretty clean. And the colors are pretty accurate. So paint is pretty spot on. I just wish that wasn't there. That's a really irksome kind of thing, you know? Anyways, articulation. He has a cut at the head. There's no up or down or anything. And he has little hinge and swivel shoulders and just swivels at the wrists. He doesn't have hinges like he did, unfortunately. I guess because he's a lot smaller and so his wrists are, you know, a little small and they don't have room to add hinges. And he's got hinge and swivel hips. Now they kind of just act as swivels, but there is like, you can see there's kind of like a hinge joint in there. Maybe it's kind of like a ball joint thing, but I mean... It, it, it's pretty much just like a V cut. And then there are hinges in the feet, which are really impressive. And the back of the packaging for this guy said he's got uh, 10 points of articulation, and that's only nine. So I was a little confused, and then I realized there's a hinge and swivel tail, and which is honestly kind of like a, a, a bit much. But I mean, wow, good job, Jax. I mean, I wish the head was more of a ball joint, but other than that, you crammed as much articulation as possible in this figure. I mean, hinges on the wrist would have been nice, but I. I guess that would have made them break off too easily. So good job, articulation. For accessories, Lemmy only gets one. It is a magic wand with a green top, which is accurate to how it's been in its, you know, modern rendition since the new Super Mario games. Um, that's it. I mean, fits in this little hole on his hand pretty nicely. In terms of the paint, I mean, the green is clean, but they did this kind of, uh, I don't, I don't know. Like, I guess there are different shades of blue top and bottom, maybe, but it looks like it's all just cast in blue underneath, and they did this little gray paint down here, which is kind of sloppy, honestly, but I also feel kind of unnecessary. Like, they could have gotten away without doing that, and I would have been just fine with it. Really, what I'm not fine with, though, is Lemmy is the only Koopaling who's famous for always having another accessory on a magic wand, which is his bouncy ball he's always bouncing on top of in official artwork, and in fact, even in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, He's, like, bouncing on top of the uh, Koopa Clown car as if it were his bouncy ball. So, I mean, the fact that you couldn't include, like, a big plastic ball with your figure, uh, Jax, I mean, it's pretty disappointing. Even the back of your packaging said you may recognize the smallest Koopaling by his multicolored hairstyle or the rubber ball he balances on top of. I mean, wh where is that thing, Jax? That's, he's the only Koopaling with, like, a famous accessory that doesn't get it. Uh, but, you know, I guess... 
magic wand is all right, you know. Now for the scale. Thankfully, Lemmy stands up a bit easier than Iggy did, and he is about two and a half inches tall to the top of his head, but four inches to the top of that mohawk there. As always, here he is with some six-inch Batman and Spider-Man figures, a Mario figure from Jax, who he's an okay scale with, and I guess who would be his brother in another dimension if Nintendo hadn't changed his story, Bowser Jr. Then, of course, with his actual brother, Iggy, and Big Bad Dad himself, Bowser. And let's just pop Junior back in and K-Mick for the heck of it. And man, this is a cool Koopa clan we got going on here, friends. At the end of the day, friends, I'm a little bit hesitant to recommend the Lemmy figure from Jax. Like, yes, the paint and sculpt are like super duper accurate and the articulation is even pretty impressive for a Jax figure. But I mean, it's just the fact that his design has his arms so small, he doesn't have a hinge in the wrist. It's kind of limits the posing options. You're like, you can't even make him point the magic wand forward there, you know, which he could with a vertical wrist. But I mean, those are pretty nitpicky things. Sculpt and articulation are very good. Really, the disappointing thing with this guy is no bouncy ball accessory. Uh, and I feel like if you're a fan of, like, Lemmy specifically, like, don't really get this figure by itself. But of course, if you don't build the Koopalings, you're going to get him anyway. So I'd recommend him if you're building the team. But otherwise, you can steer clear pretty much. Until next time, peace out, YouTube.